you've heard it. That sense of independence, not being bound to anyone or anything. You've seen it in brands, movies, advertisements, philosophy books, poems, politics, images of a nation. Freedom. But have you ever experienced it? To do what you want to do? It is your choice. Is it your choice? Really? If you ask Google what actually freedom is, the first definitions which pop up define it as the power or right to act, speak or think as one wants, or also as the state of not being imprisoned or enslaved. Keep that in mind. I could also say freedom is the right to live as I wish to do, isn't it? Do we really have that right, power or however you want to define it? Let's take a deep trip into the spheres of the freedom of our choice. We human beings always make comparisons, comparing ourselves to others. First, this might sound strange, but soon you are going to realize what I actually mean. Have you ever compared yourself to a flower or another animal? Flowers are staying at one location for their whole life, highly restricted in their way of living, but still they have everything they need. Soil, sun, water, other animals or the wind which help them to spread. This is the only time when they leave their determined place of living. The rest of their life they will stay there. Still, they have everything, highly restricted in their possibilities, but within those possibilities they have unlimited freedom. Let's go one step further. Let's look at animals. For instance, a tiger. A tiger has less limitations because it can move, but with this ability which can be seen as an enlargement of possibilities compared to the flower, there comes more responsibility. The tiger needs to hunt to survive. Simply staying at one place won't be satisfying. Again, let's move on and go even deeper into the secrets of freedom and look at us. Human beings, there we are. What a creature of evolution. We can stay and move, but not only in a physical way, but also in a mental way, because we can think. Therewith, even more possibilities and responsibilities are going to arise. The whole day, we're constantly moving, trying to accomplish something, trying to work more, do more sports, moving in an external way, as the tiger, but also in an internal way with our mind. Our life is accompanied by so many images, temptations, choices. Choices that you are familiar with. Wanting and getting, yes, no, now or later, past or future, truth or lie, good or bad, love or hate. Such a huge amount of options and one starts to lose focus of what is and what could be. At this point, contradictions are going to arise as we are trying to control the situation, trying to get more and at the same time trying to prevent to let go of other things, not letting go and still wanting more. And it goes on and on, like an octopus desperately trying to make use of all arms, legs or whatsoever to not let go of those things. Trying to get hold of the situation, but at the same time losing control over other things. We are so overwhelmed by it that we start drowning. Drowning in a river of needs, longings, desires and aspirations. But at the same time, decisions need to be made. And all this happens automatically and unconsciously. Do you see the contradiction? The misery? Nothing could be further away from freedom. 